So this is it guys, Starfield community patch. Uh, somebody said something here, I need you guys to read it, all right? It's important. Okay, so see this guy, Brown66, October 29. The big says, the big problem with this mod is not that it's based on Starfield uh, SE, what is it, SE? But that is an, uh, that is an star, but that it is a, a star.esm, uh, that is a master file. Later, when this mod is no longer needed, it, its removal will leave residue. So, in the save games in which it is active, so it's gonna stay there. Even if you uninstall this mod, it's still gonna. There's gonna be residue that's gonna stay, you know, stay there in your game. Those who don't believe just have to install this mod, run the game, make a save game, exit the game, remove this mod, and run the game again. And bang, we get a message from the game saying that this game. Uh, this save game is based on information that is no longer present. Uh, there you go. So you got corrupt, corrupted files right there. What is the result of this in the long term? One possibly are bugs in the save games that will only appear after you have already progressed a lot, a lot in Starfield. Yeah, that's a problem because if you, if you have a lot of uh, progress in the game and then you save, but then let's say you uninstall this mod, and then you want to go back to your save, your save will not work anymore. So you lost everything. That's what he's trying to say. In Skyrim and Fallout 4, we have Fall Rim, Trolls, and other mods that, with more or less success, remove these residue of, of installed mods from save games. Okay, so there you go. Because in Skyrim and Fallout 4, uh, it, it is, um, you know, like the mods are are um, applicable, like they work in these games. But in Starfield, like I said, Starfield is not built for the mods. Like the, the, the devs, they didn't build it for modders yet. But mothers are impatient, so they want to, you know, they want to build, build, build now, right? But there will be consequences if you do that. Uh, but it depends which mod again. But in Starfield, this type of mods does not yet exist. There you go. Furthermore, this mod was not made with the creative kit uh, to Starfield. There you go. But with an alpha version of X edit for this game. In other words, the possibility of this mod containing errors that could prove fatal in the long term for save game is not something that can be dis uh, dismissed lightly. Note that I'm not saying that they are guaranteed to happen, but that one that but that no one who is serious can say that they won't happen true that so it's kind of like a gamble technically this is why those who run loot for starfield it is integrated into uh, mod organizer 2 receive a warning that among other information says the following warning it is recommended recommended not to use mods that contains plugin file ending in dot esm dot esp or dot esl until official modding tools have been made available and I already had a bad experience in this game with another mod that was a plugin, which started causing problems in my game, and so I uninstalled it. Oh man, that sucks. Oh god, that is oh that is bad. Because if you uninstall the game, you just lose everything, I think. Unfortunately, this plugin left residue on my save game made after its its installation, and later I started having various problems, including quests that worked poorly and that I'm simply couldn't complete. And I ended up having to throw away everything I had played for a week. Oh. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Guys, guys, be careful, guys. Oh man, be careful. Be careful. That's why I suspect that many, but not all, people who are complaining about problems with their save games, especially buggy quests, actually have same games that are corrupted by plugins. Exactly. So some of which are not even poorly made plugins, but they have left residue that it was not possible to remove from the Sage uh, game, the Stage game, or Sage game after the person stopped using these plugins. That's why I advise everyone who is going to use this ESM base mod to make a backup of their save games in case they later need to return to a moment in the game without plugins. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, that that is there. You go so. There you go, guys. Uh, I have only one mod, and the mod that I'm using is Undelayed Menu. So this is the mod that I'm using, Undelayed Menu, and it works very well. Uh, but this is it, this is the uh, this is just like these are not like uh, the the one that he mentioned. These are not ESM or ESP or ESL file, right? So this one works perfectly. That's why he has so much endorsement as well. So and Undelayed Menu is the only one I'm using. But I'm gonna tell you something. Since I've been playing Starfield, after I downloaded this, I noticed some. Um, some bugs the only but well it, it's a bu it's not like very impactful but what happens is that sometime when i press escape or sometime when i well mostly when i press escape uh the game will auto save every time i, I press escape and to me that's kind of annoying 
and I never had that issue for the last 540 hours I played into this game. I never had that issue. It's only when I downloaded this mod that I started having the issue. But it's not like impactful in the sense that it just quick save my game, which is okay, which is okay. But you know, it's kind of annoying at certain a certain point, right? So you just have to bear in mind that when you download a mod guy. You got to be careful what you download because sometimes it could be beneficial but sometimes it could be problematic and sometimes it could be fatal like this guy had to uninstall his game and he he lost everything he played for a week so you got to be careful with that i just want to advise you and uh, feel free to do whatever you want and i uh, just want to you know advise you and that's all thanks for watching and hope you like this video cheers